Mainz in Money London 2017, ladies and gentlemen. With me is now Nemas Kalitium and Guy Burassa, who is the CEO of the company, wants to give us an update as we have exactly done the last interview one year ago. And a lot of good things happened with the company, but also with the lithium markets. Guy, welcome. Well, thank you for hosting me. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having you here. And, uh, well, a lot of good things are going on in the lithium market, of course. The demand is growing and growing. The e-mobility is everywhere. I think we have grown this year by 60, 70 percent already worldwide, the e-cars on the roads. So good for your business, right? Oh, so what absolutely. happened in the in the last 12 months? Well, we continued <laughs> our development going towards to be a vertically integrated producer of lithium hydroxide, lithium carbonate. Mm -hmm. So one of the first steps we did was to complete the construction and start commissioning of the phase one plant, mm -hmm. a small, the smallest commercial plant we could build to start the pre-qualification of our finished product with the clients. Yeah. So we did build it. We started in February of this year to produce lithium hydroxide battery grade. Mm. Uh, we delivered to Johnson Matty in uh, Montreal area about 25 tons up to now, mm -hmm. all above the battery specs uh, of the best producers. They were satisfied? Oh, they were very <laughs> satisfied. We are satisfied too yeah. because it completely demonstrated that our electrochemical process yeah. uh, is working very well making a very high quality, high purity uh, lithium salt. Mm -hmm. Now, we, uh, and during the winter, we have also uh, produced about uh, 1,000 ton of 6.3% concentrate mm -hmm. at the mine to be able to feed the phase one plant. Mm -hmm. So we completed about 23,000 ton of mining, processed 10,000 ton with a small modular mill mm -hmm. to be able to confirm that the ore from the mine would also give a very yeah. high quality product. So that's behind us. We um, have also started construction of the mine and the mm -hmm. concentrator at the mine site. We gave the contract for 13 kilometers of electric line. We're going to be hooked to the grid by February, March of oh. 2018. Very good. That's quite cost effective, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, we're advancing quite rapidly on the detail engineering for the Hydromet plant in Shawinigan. Mm -hmm. So we expect to be able, and we've entertain a lot of discussions with uh, project finance um, people. We expect to be able to have something close by Q1 of 2018 mm -hmm. so that uh, we should have the mine up and running by the end of 2018 mm -hmm. and also have the Hydromet plant up and running by the end of 2019. Fantastic. And you have all the money in place already then? No, we are currently completing the, uh, the final steps to close that project financing. Yeah. We've been very actively engaged in discussions on different uh, aspects of this for the last six, seven months, very actively. And uh, we are delivering a first ton of finished product of lithium hydroxide coming from the mine mm -hmm. in early December. Mm -hmm. And that's the last point that the financial people wanted to see the bankers. I see. That's going to be like the, a proof of concept. <laughs> no, it's more than a proof of concept because the proof of concept we did yeah. with the uh, production for Johnson Matty mm -hmm. coming from their lithium sulfate. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to prove that the ore from the mine gives a, as good or better result for yeah. the end product. That's the finish, uh, finishing mm -hmm. dot to put the, the financial uh, project. Okay, super. Um, question, I mean, mining is adventure. We know that all. It's not easy. Yeah, yeah. and all, all the time something can happen. But what was, let's say, your, I would call it, initial ramp-up phase now? And I mean, also for the next, let's say, two, three quarters, was... Was it like you have expected or have you, have you faced a lot of problems or was it like, ah, you know, this and this we have to adjust, now we have adjusted, everything is well? We took uh, more time than the usual uh, projects, mining mm -hmm. project, because what we're doing now, we're not building a mining company. Yeah. We're, you're, what you're seeing in Namaska is the making of a new chemical company. Mm -hmm. So we have done a lot of metallurgical tests for the mine and the concentrator, but we've done a lot more into the electrochemical process. Okay. And the decision of making a phase one plant was a very, very sound decision because mm -hmm. we've been able to replicate at the small scale, the smallest scale we could on a commercial basis, mm -hmm the process. So we learned a lot from the construction of it, mm -hmm. the bugs that we uh, entered and had to uh, go around in the commissioning phase. Mm -hmm. And now that we're producing it with our own employees, now we're going to replicate and, and make sure that we don't have the same mm -hmm. issues on the commercial plant. Perfect. So it takes more time. Yeah. But at the end, we're going to be producing, just give you an yeah. idea, nobody, nobody in the lithium space 
has ever produced in six months from the start of a, an mm -hmm. operation, yep. battery grade lithium hydroxide. We're yeah. the first one That's to do that. It's amazing. Yes, Absolutely. it is. It is. Yeah. No, so that, that was exactly my question. You answered it very well because I like it when, let's say, companies don't go full throttle and all of a sudden, oh, we have to break because lots of problems occur. Yeah. So you did it step by step. You made sure all the problems are solved and then you can go on the full throttle. Yeah. Right? One of the reasons we're able to achieve that because it's very rare in the junior space that you uh, have, you're developing your own internal expertise. Yeah. But we decided very early on that we would have our own internal expertise so not to be reliant on consultants yeah. and lose that expertise exactly. over time. Yeah. So yes, it costs more as GNA, yeah. but in the long run, it gives you it a very off. good return. It pays <laughs> off. So we're asking more questions yeah. and we're uh, finding more solutions mm -hmm. because we're asking questions and we're testing things. Yeah. yeah. Question cost. That's a good good yes. keyword. Um, where do you see, let's say, your production cost now all in per ton? Yep. And where is the selling price, meaning what might be the margin then for the future? Well, our uh, selling cost, uh, not production cost, according to the feasibility of 2016, is around $2,200 uh, US versus a sales price of hydroxide at $14,000 mm. and over. Beautiful margin. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Even the carbonate selling for $12,000, if mm -hmm. you're talking about contract prices. Of yeah. course, if you refer to spot prices, much higher. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about contract, contract prices. Yeah. The prices Still which have, are you, for yes, you important, yes, yes, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, no, very, very, very good margins currently. Yeah. And we don't see that as um, going away because the, the increase in the supply comes from high cost spot domain mm -hmm. produced yeah. in, in, in uh, Australia being shipped to China that costs by money. third parties. So it, it increases <laughs> their cost of the concentrate, yeah. the converters in China. Yeah. So currently they're about at uh, close to $5,000 just for the concentrate wow. cost in the production. So I don't yeah. see a decline in the price from $10,000, yeah. $12,000 for yeah. years to come. And you also, you see now through your, let's say, starting or your initial production experience, you still see the same cost basis you had in your feasibility, right? Yes. Yeah, so there are no, no funny surprises. No. That's no. important. Absolutely. Super. Well, Guy, thank you very much. That, that was very interesting. And it looks like that uh, all is in good shape and you're full on track. Absolutely. Super. Then keep it going and we look forward to 2018. Absolutely. Because the world leads, needs lithium. A lot of it. Oh, and, yes. And uh, we will be part of the chain. Super. Perfect. Thank you Thank very you much very for much. that. My pleasure. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Guy Borassa, the CEO of Nemaska Lithium. And you heard that everything is full on track. Uh, the company is really working hard uh, to finalize yeah, the full production steam, I would call it. And uh, yeah, also with the final financing. And I think they're doing a great job. And as you heard it, the feasibility was $2,200 per ton cost even that's and that's now my personal protection if they go to 3,000 it doesn't matter because the selling prices are in the order of between 10 and 14,000 for their product so still a fantastic margin for the company doing a great job and I would say check it out and thanks for watching us and bye bye from London